Hey guys, it's Sean with Stump Moving and Storage, and today I'm here to talk about the equipment we use to service the moves we perform, specifically our two-wheel dollies, also known as hand trucks. Now we all know those pneumatic tires don't last very long at all, especially with day-in and day-out use, the wear and tear of the job. They just don't last very long at all, and we're constantly replacing them. So I've gone ahead and purchased flat-free tires. Now these are the 10-inch ones from Hallmaster, specifically built for hand trucks. We picked these up at Harbor Freight, but if you guys need a set, go ahead and check out the description below. We have everything that you need to get this job done linked down there. Before I show you guys how this is done, if you're enjoying the video, if you get value out of it, please hit that like button for me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and if you have any friends or family who are interested in doing this themselves, or anybody you know that might need a hand, go ahead and share this video with them. Show them just how easy this really is. Now without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and place these new tires onto the hand truck. All you'll need is a set of pliers. However, there are two different types of fastening hardware to keep the wheels on to the dolly. This particular one has a cotter pin. I'll show you guys in a second. And the other type is like a metal cap that looks like a top hat that presses on to the axle of the dolly. The one we're working on again today has a cotter pin, so it's going to be super simple, and all we'll need is this pair of pliers. Let's get into it. All right, guys, here is your typical two-wheel dolly. We have the pneumatic tires, and as you can see, I'm squeezing these guys, and they're not holding air, and that's because the seal was busted, the inner tube has gone bad on the inside, and the only way to fix this would be to replace the tire. I'm sick and tired of doing that, quite frankly. These do not last very long, and I'm constantly having to put air in them. And it's just one more thing that we have to maintain here. So I looked around and I found these flat free tires, and they're a decent price. They're not very expensive at all. And they come with all of the hardware that you need, from extra bearings in case you have a larger axle, to the spacers that you might need depending upon the axle width. It's all right there for you, and it's actually a pretty good value. I believe these run about $29, and it's pretty comparable to uh, buying a pneumatic one. So these will last you longer, and that review video is gonna be coming here in the future. You're not gonna wanna miss out, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you guys see in here, this right here, that's the cotter pin that I'm talking about. All we're gonna use is our pliers to remove that, and then we'll pull the tire off and put the new one on. We're just gonna bend this back and pop the tire off. Taking our pliers, remove the bend in the cotter pin, pull it out. There's the bearing cap, the washer, if you'd like to call it that like that. Obviously you guys have a side that protrudes and a side that is indented. This indented side sticks out and the protruded side here goes in towards the middle of the dolly. And all you do is slide it right onto the axle. Just like that. Very simple. And this particular dolly does not need much of anything. Now out of all of the accessories that come with it, all we're going to use is the washer. I've decided to pick the thicker of the washer just based on the amount of axle I still have protruding. Then we're going to reuse the cotter pin that we have from earlier. We're gonna slide it in. Now once it's in, taking our pliers, the bottom of the cotter pin will be pinched and pulled up. And I'll do the same with the other side.
Now that I'm done with this side, I'm going to go ahead and move to the next. It'll only take a second, and then I'll be able to use it. Now I'm going to go ahead and do all of those same steps I just showed you on this side. There you have it guys. This dolly is ready to get back to work and help service some moves. Now that this dolly has been fixed and these new wheels are on, we're gonna go ahead and do a review video. That way you guys can see how these wheels hold up over time in a professional setting. You're not gonna to wanna to miss out on that. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And while you're at it, if you found value in this, if you learned something, hit that like button for me. And don't forget to share this video with your family and friends. And we'll see you in the next one.